Dear friends, uh, I believe that having born as human beings, if we miss a spirituality, we have missed a human life. Please forgive me if you don't agree. Since I have been invited to speak something, I have to express what I feel. Uh, whether you agree or not agree, that's not much of my problems. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there has not been given any conditions for me. <laughs> uh, uh, you see, human, why I say that uh, having born as human beings, if you miss spirituality, you miss human life. Because human life is blessed with uh, all the powers, potentiality, and uh, possibility, and capability to think to investigate, inquire, to pray and meditate and realize the ultimate truth of existence or you say God realization, self realization or truth realization, whatever words you may use. So we human beings have all this potentiality and I believe in human, human life, human world the truth realization, God realization, self realization is the most important thing. Once you realize this, your life totally transforms and your whole life becomes a celebration. Without realizing the ultimate truth of life or existence, despite of all other achievements, our life remains incomplete dissatisfaction, discontented, and a lot of problems, right? So once we realize the truth, or the <coughs> God, or we in Buddhism don't use the God much, but doesn't matter, these are different worlds, the ultimate reality is the same for all, the Buddhists or not Buddhists, there is no such thing as a Buddhist truth, or Christian truth, or Muslim truth, there is no such as a Buddhist light, Christian light, Muslim light, and so on. Light is simply light which dispels darkness, right? Flower is simply flowers. Can't be a, this flower, that flower. So, uh, <coughs> having born this, if we do not use this uh, capability or potentiality to explore and to uh, realize and experience the ultimate truth, really how we can say that our life, human life, is superior or higher, nobler than other forms of life. Only with these conditions we can claim that human life is superior to other forms of life, that other lives, the animals, simply do not have the potentiality to think, pray, meditate and realize the truth, whereas human beings have. And having blessed with the potentiality, we don't uh, use this potentiality to, for the realization of the ultimate truth and keep on just using our energy, time, uh, efforts for uh, uh, small worldly things. Then we cannot really claim our life to be superior than other forms of life. Just uh, <coughs> mm, having some simple education, getting a job, earning a money, going for shopping, and managing life, somehow managing and waiting for death. That's animal also managed. Animals, birds also, you see, manage to make a nest and survive. So, <coughs> this uh, sp uh, spirituality to me is this, that uh, realizing the ultimate truth of existence or ultimate truth of life. And uh, uh, therefore, I always feel very sad in the all educational institution or anywhere. This uh, theme, truth realization, God realization, self realization, is not found in the long list of your agenda, in the long list of the subject we have to study. Uh, so, it, uh, to me, whether it is a school, university, college, or any other institution, education, or any other education institution, this should be on the top of your agenda, on the top of your list. 
the truth realization. Truth realization means who we are, who I am, from where I have come, and which direction I am supposed to go, and how I am supposed to, supposed to live beautifully, peacefully, harmoniously, friendly, loving and serving, caring and sharing with each other, without hurting and harming each other. This is missing. Of course, sometimes, occasionally, uh, the officers, the teachers, they do talk, but this is not the top priority. This comes at the last. This is very sad. This has to be on the top of our list, right from starting, starting from the nursery up to the PhD level and university level. This has to be this. Yeah? So this is why we see we neglected this aspect, or you can say that inner aspect of our life, the spiritual aspect of life, we neglect it. We have too much focus on the external part of our life, material part of our life. See with the result today what's happening? We have managed to con climb and conquer the highest mountain of the world. We have <coughs> touched the bottom of the oceans. We have landed on the moon. We are exploring the space. We have invented all kinds of machines, eh? we explored the atom. What not we have achieved as far as science, science technology is concerned. The, the question remains, have all this achievement brought answers to our fundamental questions? Human suffering, human fear, human insecurities, you know, the problems you see uh, around, the, around the world. What we have done, to me, this very earth is a heaven. I don't believe in another heavenly life. Sorry, you may not disagree. Again, that's not my problem. <laughs> to me, the human beings themselves are gods and goddess, provided with some condition, provided they are able to clean off and they all the uh, delusion, the illusion, hallucination, the perversion, the false belief, the wrong views we have developed about our life, about the world. What to say? We human beings are expected to be divine, but we have become devil. We human beings expected to treat this earth as heaven, but what we have done, we have made this earth, this paradise, a kind of hell. So, dear friends, under the circumstances, um, we, there is an urgent need for humanity to rethink, reschedule, reorganize, restructure our attitude towards the life, towards the world. In the past, it doesn't matter in the past somehow manage, but with the uh, fast development of science and technology, which has reduced the size of the world to such a small scale, like a village, the whole world has become like a village. You know, with this fast technology and uh, science technology, the gap has disappeared. Today you can have breakfast in New York, lunch in London, dinner in Leh, Ladakh. It's such a fast. That's physically if you move. And then, it, uh, with this, what you call, video conference and all this, even that gap will go away. You can see, you can, uh, you can speak, you can see, and the mobile and all technologies. So under the circumstances, I believe, first of all, human beings have to give equal importance to the spirituality and materiality, science and religion, inner and outer. This balance is missing. Yeah? We have focused too much on the external development, material experiment, and we have neglected. With the result, maybe we have so much in our house, in our society, but inside, in our heart, we are becoming hollow and empty. It will be something like that. You have expensive pillow, but you miss the sleep. What is the use of having an expensive pillow if you can't sleep? So this balance, I see, is missing very much. So as we give focus, time, energy for the external development, science, technology, other things, 
one should not ignore the inner development. So meditation and medication, science and religions. Yeah? What are called um, psychology and ecology, physics and metaphysics. They should go together in balance. If these things, the science and religion, if we can synthesize, bring together, the scientists should meditate. And religious people also should uh, be a little bit scientifically religious. If the scientist becomes a meditator, scientists should be spiritually scientists. Religious people should be scientifically religious. And then there is no chance of misusing the power of religion, the power of science. Otherwise, the scientists will make a bomb. And religious people can make even bigger bombs. It's <coughs> happening. Yeah? So this is happening because some sort of uh, missing the balance or blind faith. Both. Scientists also keep on creating all kinds of weapons, bombs, blindly, not knowing, not realizing the consequences of creating this, these bombs and guns. They don't know. So also religious people believe that they are religious people. They are doing some service to their religion for their God and do all kinds of things. So dangerous. So I believe now we must bring together science and religion, inner and outer together, meditation and medication. Meditation to heal the wounds of the heart. Medication is to heal the wounds of the <coughs> physical body. As you all know, we are more than the physical body. We are not machines, right? So if you are a machine, perhaps you don't need any spirituality. Just give uh, or check the machines are in proper uh, setup and it will work. Uh, but we all know we are more than the physical body, more than a machine. How about our heart, soul, emotions, feelings, the food you eat, the drinks you drink, they remove the hunger and thirst of the body, but they cannot remove the hunger and thirst of our heart or soul or mind. The nice shower you take in your beautiful bathrooms, it can clean the dots of the body, but it cannot clean the dots of the heart, the soul and the mind. And the, so the dots of the soul or the mind, the heart, could be much more dangerous, much more dirty than the darts we collect on the physical body, right? So that's why it's so important that we have a nice bathroom in your rooms. Also, along with that bathroom, nice meditation room. You have a beautiful bathroom. Without a meditation room on the side of bathroom, is imbalance, missing something. You will have beautiful body, very nice, but inside not beauty. So, and the inner beauty, inner purification, perhaps more important than the purification and the beautification of external body. You have a beautiful house, beautiful bathroom. Please have one meditation room also. And the meditation, the prayer, the spiritual room should be in a truly sense, not just uh, just for show or something. As in the bathroom, you take bath and clean. Similarly, in the meditation room, you should sit comfortably. You must pray, meditate, and purify, you know, give a bath to the, not only to the body, but to the heart, but to the soul. And when you are beautiful inside, beautiful outside, purified inside, outside, then you will be truly happy and healthy, always. Otherwise, you are beautiful outside, inside, very ugly. So if the ugliness is inside, what greed, hatred, ignorance, fear, worries, tension, no amount of purification, beautification, no amount of your cosmetic shops and beauty parlor will really make you beautiful. Purify the heart and learn to smile from the heart. You will be the most beautiful things. So I want to... Uh, uh, close here, dear friends. Uh, this is a great pleasure for me to share some words. This is not enough to, uh, to listen and to understand the spiritual values 
but I strongly encourage you to please manage to find some time to, for, to learn meditation or spirituality in your own ways. <coughs> no need to in a particular religion or something, in your own, whatever. To me, all religions are, have the similar message. Different religion, different cultures are like different flowers in a garden. More the flowers, more beauty, less flower, less beauty. No flower, no beauty. So we have to learn to appreciate all religion, all culture, all the nations. Also, the, without showing disrespect to any part, uh, what you call religion or nationality, there is a need for us to raise above and open our hearts, embrace all human beings like brother, sister of one family, which is fact. We are all born in a similar way, growing in a similar way. All of us will die. All of us are visitor, guest. Nobody is going to stay permanent, right? And we all share the same planet. We all breathe the same air for our survival, drink the same water for our survival. We all live under one sun, one moon, one sky. We all have the similar body and mind. We all have the same desire, desire to live peacefully, safely, and desire to avoid all the suffering. Where is the difference? Where is the need for us to divide this world? We are American, we are European, we are Asian, we are Muslims, Christians, Hindus, and fight and kill each other. It's foolishness on humanity. We are born in this world to sing song. We are born in this world to dance. We are born in this world to serve each other. We are born in this world to pray and meditate, realize the truth, and enjoy the beauty, the creations of the wonderful beauty, heaven here and now, divine life here and now. Thank you very much. Thank you.